Representative Dan Webster from U.S. House District 11. Thanks so much for coming in today. Great to be on. Let's go ahead and talk about the GOP's rallying cry, repeal and replace Obamacare. So now we have the um, AHCA, otherwise known as Trump Care, versus Obamacare. So let me get this straight. You finally voted yes, but you were actually, the first go around, you were thinking you were going to vote no. What made you change your mind? I was working on an issue that is, I think, Florida specific. It has to do with uh, Medicaid funded nursing home beds. We have more growth than anybody else in the in the uh, 55 and up range. People move here. They like our our sunshine and they like the fact that we have no income tax. Therefore, uh, they stay. They're not going back to Pennsylvania. So they're going to be here when they pass away. And when they do, many of them go into nursing homes. Uh, they stay. They're not going back to Pennsylvania. So they're going to be here when they pass away. And when they do, many of them go into nursing homes some way. First assisted living, then a nursing home, then maybe memory care, uh, which is an expensive thing. And uh, the state pays part of that bill. It's, uh, it's all done mm -hmm. under Medicaid. At least 70 percent of them will be in a Medicaid-funded bed. So that was the breaker for you to, to say we need this money in Florida for these beds and who told you yes um, actually I got a yes from the president the vice president the secretary of HHS and the CMS director Paul Ryan and the rest of the leadership so you All met with them yes. and they said yes to after you. it took a while yes wow that's uh, pretty impressive to hear that you actually met with them Um, you know, the president has said some things uh, recently, and then he would just flip the script and say something completely different. Do you think he'll keep his word? Absolutely. I am confident he will, and I got the assurances of just about everybody down the chain. But I want to ask you one more thing about um, the Trump care versus Obamacare. One of the sticking points that a lot of folks have been talking about is pre-existing conditions. So under the AHCA, pre-existing conditions, it gets very confusing compared to Trump, to the Trump, um, excuse me, to the Obamacare. Can you clear up some of the misconceptions? I can. There is a guarantee issue. That means whatever condition you might have, you do have, you might have in the future, is covered. You can get coverage no matter what. Isn't it up to the states, though, to drop you if they wanted to or not? No, the, what, what's in this bill is the fact that there's going to be coverage for every person. Now, uh, a lot of the things that are in or out of that bill, that's, that's going to remain uh, something that you can purchase. And so you'll be able to get the care you need from the doctor you choose at a price you can afford, period. That's yeah. it, no matter one, who you are. One of the things, too, that the CBO, the Congressional Budget Office, had said with the projections, and I'm talking about the first version from back in March, was that 24 million people would be without health coverage by 2026. That is a really slap in the face for so many folks looking at the big picture. Um, do you think the CBO at some point will uh, update their projections in a way that will be more favorable for the idea that the Republicans have for uh, medical coverage for Americans? Well, I think they will update their, their projections because the bill's changed since they did that. However, sure. there's more to that than in that there are a lot of people that lost their care under Obamacare, but they got care under Obamacare. So losing your care doesn't mean you'll never get it again. It means you're going to drop what you have and get something new. And I think that's how it's a little bit 
misleading to say that they lost it. People uh, that were under, had uh, maybe a, a care at, the, at work under Obamacare, but if they qualified for Medicare, they were automatically put on Medicare. So they lost the coverage they had, they got new coverage. Well, thank you so much for coming in, Representative Dan Webster, giving us an update of what's happening up in Washington. Hey, great to be on.